Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a new batch of consumer router holes. Today, US CERT released a new advisory describing vulnerabilities that affected a wide range of consumer routers that are used around the world. These are devices from ASUS, Digicom, ZTE, and many other ISPs out there, specifically the DSL routers they might give to their customers. Actually, this is based on a vulnerability that was found in a ZTE router months ago. It was found that this router had a backdoor, a mysterious, uh, unmarketed, and administrative account that had a hard-coded password. And the password was basically the MAC address of the router with AeroCon following that MAC address. This new CERT advisory warns that many different routers out there have this same vulnerability, presumably because they use the same firmware or chipset as this previous router. Now, how big a deal is this flaw? Well, apparently the routers expose Telenet and SNMP. And because they expose Telenet and SNMP, it means that any attacker who can Telenet to your router might be able to use this hidden account to log in and gain root access to your router. Now, one of the mitigating factors is the fact that you have to know the MAC address of the router. Typically, this would limit this to just a local attack. But the problem is, since the routers support SNMP, this allows a mechanism for an external person to perhaps get the MAC address of your router. And he, once he has that address, he can actually log into your router. Now, unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a solid fix for this problem. The manufacturer that creates this hard-coded uh, password in their firmware doesn't seem to be in a hurry to actually change this password. But what they do say is you can mitigate this flaw by actually using the firewall on your router and disabling access to Telenet and SNMP. That's not going to prevent local attackers from trying to exploit this flaw, but it could uh, prevent people on the internet from doing it. In any case, be sure to check out the link to the CERT advisory I post to make sure that you're not using one of the vulnerable routers. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.